Let's start off by taking a look at kind of breaking down all the parts and pieces of Crossy Road, at least the ones that we're going to focus on, the ones we're going to develop. What I've got here is just a Photoshop open and we're just going to go through some of the pictures. I just grab two pictures off so we can kind of look at them and see what we're going to do. If you were looking at a game from a perspective of I just want to see a screenshot or see some video and then develop the game from that uh, and or if it's your original idea and you're just coming up with something, um, one of the best things to do is start off with a visual piece. Uh, something that's going to give you just a, that, that direction, uh, the visual direction that's needed so that you can get into the coding side, design side of it. Um, what we're going to do though is just kind of identify the parts and pieces that we need to use for it. Let's see, we'll change the color real quick just to a different color so we can see it. So if I'm going to go in here, um, one of the things I'm going to notice, and we're just going to kind of go through each part and we'll outline them and then uh, write them down. The uh, Starting with uh, the one from a game screenshot, one thing you'll notice is that when it comes to it, you have two spots for GUI right here. So during gameplay, uh, we have a total distance that the player can go, and then we have the amount of coins that the player picked up. So we'll just kind of jot things down on the side. Actually, we just kind of pull it out from here. So we'll say, I'm just going to write this kind of messy, and then we'll clean it up and make it into a pretty document. So we'll say we have our distance. We've got our coins. All right, so for GUI, that means we're going to have some feedback that might have to happen here. Um, when it comes to an overall structure, let's say we start with a game manager. Now, if we have a game manager, a uh, game manager can control GUI. Alright, so it's going to control the GUI for us. It also is going to have a start screen that we don't have here, so we'll just sketch a quick box and say start screen. Alright, so we'll have a first screen that goes through here. We'll see our GUI through here and just have a gameplay element and uh, items and stuff to see on this one. Alright, so one of the things that we, hopefully you kind of notice with this is that uh, we've, we can actually identify almost all the pieces we're going to use. Um, we have, if you, can, if you can see right here, there's this distance that goes about here to here. And then it repeats, and it repeats. Alright, so what we're actually looking at is a strip of geometry that's going across through here, giving us our different planes. Now this one, potentially it's here, but actually it looks like there is a two-piece. So we have ones that are one, we have ones that are identified as two. Uh, the water looks like it's a two right here going across. We have another ground that's a one. So when you see these, you can kind of get the idea that uh, when we're developing, if we're going to make a auto generator here, do a automatic generator, and this we can say is going to be for the level. Um, the uh, the other side of it though would be that we can have a spawner. We'll probably need a spawner system to be able to actually pull the vehicles and coins, uh, the logs, trees, all those elements can fall under a uh, spawner. So we'll say spawner is going to make the uh, the trees and uh, cars and items. All right. So we'll have an automatic level generator for us. We'll have a uh, spawner system for us to spawn elements on top of the levels. Uh, we have our GUI that's set in place. We now also have a character right here. So player character. So for us, what we're going to do is just develop with one character in mind. We're not going to have a character selection system or anything. We'll just focus on the one player. And then if you want to build out from there, it'll be set up for it. So the player itself. Um, Let's just kind of toss this over here. So if we say player, player basic properties based on, uh, actually even just based on this, the images that we have right here, uh, we have a death state or a got hit state. We could say got hit. So we have a got hit state. Um, we have a idle. And his idle state looks like this, and then it looks like he has a jump state or a walk state. So we have three basic states that he has to go through. Um, we have collider boxes. You have actual collision. Player can't just jump through anything. 
uh, so he'll be able to hit solid surfaces. Uh, the vehicles, um, there'll be kind of a difference between a vehicle and a log. This is an item that can hurt you, and then a log is something you can jump on and move with. So like for instance with the log, we'll have it as a mover, but this log, instead of being a hurt, this is actually one you can parent to, so when you jump on it, your player will move with it. So we'll say parent to move with. All right. So then the vehicle. Vehicle is a mover as well. However, this one can actually hurt you. So we'll say uh, it can do uh, hit, can hit, can hurt. All right. We'll say it can hit player. All right, so we have those going across there. We've got vehicles, you know, we're going to have multiple vehicles. You know, they have orange and uh, red and uh, purple. They've got diesels, trains, a lot of different ones. But they're kind of, I think we're kind of finding that they all fall under something that moves. So we'll call it a mover. Uh, we have the level generator. We have a coin, a coin system. Uh, one of the things you'll remember in a video of the game, the camera is always moving this direction across the screen so what we'll make sure that we do is have a little call out here for a camera all right so the camera is going to be a follow camera uh, on the horizontal or the left and right and then the uh, uh, the camera is going to have an auto move so it'll be an auto move going forward all right, so we have two kind of states to the camera um, when it goes across. Uh, we have the water that you can jump across, jump onto logs. We have auto generator, random speed generators. Uh, we have different um, uh, generators for different pieces. Notice we have a cut tree, small tree, medium tree, and a large tree. All right, and so there's a lot of different shapes and pieces that make it up. But there's still kind of that focus right there is that we have what I would probably put under a list. We have a game manager. We have the level generator. We'll kind of put each one of these here. Uh, we have a camera system. All right, we have the coin. We have a mover. We have a player controls. Now, player is going to be kind of based on two things. Player can be a player mover, a uh, player controller, which we'll call is what we'll call ours. And then we also have a uh, animation controller, which is going to control his animations. All right. So that's going to be basically uh, the the list. Actually, one more. It's going to be the spawner. We'll be sure that we place that in there. So when we take a look, this is one of the things where if you're taking a look at a picture, try to break it down, stare at it, watch the videos, um, come up with what is it you see, what are the things that happen with it. Um, even like on the dead state, you can see some feathers going right here. You know, So if we see that, we can definitely say, well, that's going to be a particle effect right here. So on the got hit state, you probably want to have a particle effect play. Um, and then same thing for overall, if we were placing an audio, there's audio on all the vehicles, uh, ambient noise uh, coming across on the water, on the roads, uh, the gameplay noise, the button sounds, and all those things as well. All right, so that should kind of cover us with a general, just kind of a sketch up of it. Uh, the next thing we'll do is just see a, a little bit cleaned up version uh, so you can see what the, the necessary elements are. And uh, we'll use that as our guide as we start to develop the game.